I just want to do a quick uh, demonstration of the motor principle. Uh, so we have a copper wire wrapped around here and the external magnet that you can see here. Uh, clearly the copper wire is not attracted to this magnet um, since it's made of copper and not ferromagnetic. However, uh, I do have a battery here. Uh, so we can run current through this wire. Uh, we use conventional current flow, so it's from the positive uh, to the negative. And uh, when we turn this on, we know that Orsted's principle says that there will be a magnetic field uh, produced um, around the, the wire. And based on the coilings that we have here, we get constructive reinforcement. Uh, and that will cause uh, a magnetic field, a pretty strong magnetic field, to be created around uh, the copper wire, which will interact with this external magnetic field, which in this case is done by a permanent magnet. It could also be done by another electromagnet. Uh, this principle is known as the motor principle, um, and that's because, as you can see there, um, when I connect the battery, it, in this case, repels. And that force that it feels, the electromotive force, in this case, um, that's actually something a little bit different, but uh, the force that it experiences is the motor principle. So in this case, it's a repulsive force, and it causes the wire to be repelled. Now, clearly, uh, the right-hand rules say that if I switch the battery around, like so, and attach it, I now get a traction. I'm burning my fingers, but that's okay. Uh, so, you can see now that if I do this and I hold it, I can actually move the magnet around, and you get the attraction that we talked about. So I can put it on it and move it around. Whereas if I switch the battery, once again, we get repulsion. Alright, that's it.